In this video, comparing Max Tracks to the new kids on the block US Action Tracks. So, this is a must watch before you buy your next set of boards or before you buy Max Tracks, you're going to want to know this. So, on the left, the turquoise, the lighter blue, is the Max Tracks. Well known, manufactured in Australia. Um, it's the go to board, right? Well, until this new board came out, and it's the US Action Tracks. I'm gonna compare the two here real quickly. I'm not gonna bury them in sand. I'm gonna show you quality difference and what um, you can expect from these boards. So price-wise, $299, to $69. But if you think about it, what are you paying for? The material in this board is nylon six. It's plastic, it's plastic. Like this is such a rigid board. I'm tr I put my foot on it here and I'm trying to bend it and I can't. It's plastic, folks. This board, the materials cost three times what nylon six costs. This is DuPont out of the good old middle of the USA, uh, comes out of Kansas. And if I put my foot on this board, you'll see I can bend them. This, this is like a like a rubber meets plastic, it's pliable, it's malleable. So the material, way better in these. The material in these is used for train coupling bushings. So you know in the train yards when like boom, boom, two trains, they like snap together and connect? Well, that's the bushing that they use, new. They haven't done that for, it's like a brand new material. So DuPont partnered with US Action Tracks to use that material in their boards. So let's look at another thing. Plastic, you, you, you can't hear it. It's like a deadening sound because that's like a rubber. Think about it. Like if you're trying to get out of ice or snow, remember k skis? Guess what they're made out of? Plastic. They're not made out of a rubberized material. You wouldn't get anywhere. You'd be stuck in the ice or snow. But with this, you're gonna slide down that hill like there's no tomorrow. So flat edge this is a sawtooth edge why is that well whenever you're going to be off-roading you're going to be buried up to your axle sometimes in sand or in snow which means you've got no dig room right there's going to be dirt right up to here so you have to actually do a sawing action to get under the tire right and then put your board that helps big time next up the handles this handle is pretty tight, right? There's not much room for my hand. So if I had gloves, if it was winter time, um, I got no room there and it's plastic. It's a hard feel. This one, look how much room I've got. So if I got gloves, I got plenty of room. You know, I got the average size hand. If you got big fingers, you, you need more space for comfort if you're using this as a shovel. This one, way tighter. That's a big difference. Just as a funny note, this says this side up. Okay, so I put that up. Down here it says, this side up. So which one's up? I'm just kidding, of course, it means that face up versus this side, and who would know? So let's, <laughs> who would not know, I should say. So let's look at the inside. A Little bit different. So they're saying you can use this as your shovel. They actually don't tell you that here, but obviously you can. So. Although it's very close in design, you can see there's more spots here for the, for the nibs on the other side versus on this one. And if you think about it, this is where you're gonna get all your traction is at the beginning. And then you've got momentum, so you roll through here. So again, listen to this. Let's bang it on the floor. That sounds like plastic, right? Let's try this one. Sounds different, right? This is absorbing that shock a lot more. It's not rigid. Why is that important? Well, if you ever see in videos, sometimes this will come shooting out or it'll hit your rocker panel. Um, it'll hit your fender and this will do damage. This is more malleable. It's more pliable. So it's gonna form factor around the rock where this will be more of a teeter-totter. I mean, case in point, let me show you this. I have a crap board here. I think this is the Bull brand plastic, you know, polypropylene plastic, whatever they mix in there. And between, uh, you know, I would have to say this is probably a better 
type plastic than this one. This is cheap, this is 100 bucks, you get what you pay for. This is 299, and this is 269. But I bet you the materials, I bet you the profit on this compared to this one is probably the same, although you're paying 269 because you're getting you know quality product. All the money you're paying is going into the material. This crappy board I got with that old Land Cruiser down there. So I took them off and I'm replacing them with these. And what's interesting, uh, recently it's been hard to get a hold of off-road stuff. So these boards, a guy had them here in Southern California, posted it on OfferUp. I said, hey, you want to trade? I got a better board for you. I really just wanted it so I can compare the two. So when he got to see uh, my board, and he picked a different color, let's, let's show you. He picked red and black, so he got like this and this. And I'll explain what you see here, the hardware in a second. He was so stoked and he said to me, man, like the boards look the same when you look at them from far away, but you, when you get up close, it's night and day as far as the feel and the quality. And he's 100% right. So here's the different colors you get with the US Action Tracks. And, you know, I found them during, you know, the uh, COVID. I couldn't find Max Tracks. I found these guys because, again, they're new kids on the block, not a whole bunch of marketing. They sent me some boards. I fell in love with them so much. I said, hey, do you need a West Coast distributor? Like, these boards are the best. So, and I'll only represent the best, of course. So check it out. Those are the different colors. So let's talk quickly about this. So Max Tracks does have boards that have metal. They call it their Extreme 499. These are 349. So 100, almost 150 bucks less. And the beautiful part is if you ever, you know, spin a tire, which you shouldn't, don't spin your tires, be careful. But if you burn out any one of these little nibs, little traction pieces, well, take a Sawzall or a Dremel, cut it off, drill a hole, go to your local hardware store, put metal. So this is definitely an upgrade. That's zinc. Then what I've done is I've upgraded it to stainless steel. And then I've further upgraded it to, um, this is yellow zinc grade five. So super hard, super heavy duty. And then that's in the different boards. So you can either go just standard plastic Sorry, not plastic, <laughs> DuPont material. Um, or you can go with the, the metal uh, hardware. Stainless steel, obviously, you know, if you're gonna be in areas where a lot of water, salt water especially, that's gonna be, uh, you know, rust proof. Same thing with the yellow zinc. But they are sexy boards. You see them in person. It really, you know, I don't know if the video does it justice. Before I got those, if you're familiar with Rotopax, they just got into the game with their board and I did drill and put some stainless steel here, but plastic, same material that they use for their fuel packs. So I don't know how malleable or how good that is. You know, it's definitely not like the action tracks. I'll show you one other thing. If I take this board and I'm gonna step, it, it, it's rock hard. Like this this would stay rigid as a ramp or something, you know? Um, it doesn't bend. If I take the Max Tracks, watch this. I don't know if the video's picking that up, but I mean, it bounces, it's, it's bending easily. So that means when you're going over rocks, if you're using it in a rock situation, this will bend you know, it'll form factor to the rocks. This won't as easily. I've seen videos where they put these barium in sand, they drive over them, and these do come back up to their form, but I see them smack the underside of the car. This, a lot more forgiving, a lot better. Again, fi uh, I think the, the rating is five times stronger than this, and they have tested U.S. action tracks on a 55,000 pound fire truck. So if it can handle a fire truck, it can handle your rig. And as far as places to put them, you can get the bomber products. This is pretty cool to put on the back of a, of a tire carrier. You can get the Axia alloys because these boards, they fit the US action tracks. 
because they're so new on the market, there's not a lot of aftermarket third parties that are making mounting hardware. But the keyholes are virtually the exact same distance as the Max Tracks. And yes, they do look very similar, don't they? So Max Tracks are sexy. Who's kidding who, you know? You get the little uh, kangaroo there. So they're sexy boards, but I gotta admit, the US Action Tracks are slightly sexier with this aggressive saw, which is functional and makes sense. Um, so I don't know, if you wanna slide down a, a, a hill, grab yourself a Max Tracks and have fun. If you wanna get out of a gnarly situation, you need it to grab, get yourself some US Action Tracks. If anybody's watching this in Australia, uh, the first guy who gets a distributorship of US Action Tracks is going to uh, be happy to uh, obviously, you know, show them down there where off-roading is king, that there is a better board than the Max Tracks. So, you decide. I'm in Southern California, so I will meet up with anybody who uh, who's interested to buy a set. Uh, you can just uh, message me in this video and, uh, you know, again, you can pick what color board and you can pick which type of hardware, zinc, stainless steel, or yellow zinc grade eight. All right. Well, thanks for tuning in and hopefully this helps you with the, your homework uh, that you're doing before you commit to your boards again. Super expensive, right? Like a couple hundred bucks. You want to make sure your money's well spent. You want to make sure you're getting value for your dollar. Well, again, I've done the math and these are 16 pounds and it's about 250 a pound, right? And these are same thing, 16 pounds, but it's more like six bucks a pound. So if you think about it, there's $96 worth of material in here and less than half of that in here. Yet these are more expensive, right? Well, because they've got the name, they spent a ton of money in marketing, but uh, not all boards are created equal, folks. All right, so hopefully this helps you, and happy off-roading. Bye for now.